welcome back to the channel. Phil again here at Harris Automotive. We're in the middle of doing a engine on this 2005 Volvo XC90 with a 2.5 liter engine. Anytime we do any used engines, we always do a timing belt and a water pump with the engine. So with this video here is going to show you how to replace the timing belt and water pump on all these Volvos, the XC90s, S80, V70, C70, um, any of the timing belts from 2000, actually, <laughs> this going back from 1994 um, with the Volvo 850s all the way through to like 2017. The procedure is the same on all of these white engines. All right, so we're gonna get started. This gonna be, it shouldn't take that long. Um, this gonna be real fast. So the first thing I like to do, this vehicle will be in a car. So you have plenty of room to work um, on this side of the uh, on this side of the vehicle when the engine is in. So the first thing I want to do, I want to identify the timing marks on the cams. So how we do that? They're very very small. Let's see if we can zoom in, Tyler. Can you see that timing mark right there? It's a very small line right there. You got it. So what I like to do first, and again, this was in the car. This time mark could be here, depending on how the engine's crank be down here turn it over and like to identify i know i have a timer mark right there come over here on this other side right here where's that right there's our time mark why don't make them bigger i have no idea you have a time mark there now real fast not to get too ahead of myself if this was a volvo v50 s40 um even the s60s you will not have a timing mark on your can just to let you know you just have to line it up and I'm going to show you what I mean. All right, the next step, if you come over here, first thing you're going to do, you're going to take your crank off. You have your crank off, you have four bolts on your crank, and you have the center bolt. You'll take your crank pulley off. I want you to put this nut back on. That's step number two. Step number three, let's find our timing marks. Now, you see this little cog right there? See that? That is the timing mark that you're going to reference to your crank. So I'm going to turn my crank. And what's going to happen is that you see this timing mark right here? This time mark right here, we're going to line up with that boss right there. And it's going to be in between time and gear teeth. You see that right there? Basically dead on. Now, when your cams are at top dead center, look right here. You're going to have both of your timing marks lined up with these marks right here in the timing cover. Let me clear this off out your way. All right, can you see that, Tyler? Timing mark there is lined up with that one. Timing mark here is lined up with that one. Now we're ready to take it apart. Now here's the easy part. Now at this point, you got your 12s on? All right, we got a 12. Oh, one second, stay there. One second, let me get a 12. All right, so we're back at it. We have a 12 wrench, all right? If this was in a car, you have plenty of room to come down between the engine and the body of the car to put a wrench on it. You can go from the bottom or you can come from the top. It's easier for this to come from the top. Put your 12 on here and you're gonna, real fast, let me show you something. When you have your timing, when you have, this is your timing belt temp, tip, this is your timing belt tensioner. So just kind of notice where this is at here. This is kind of on the loose side at this point. When we tighten this up, we're gonna put it a little on the tight side. This is your window. Just wanna point that out before we get started. I'm gonna come back to it. So what you're gonna to wanna to do, you're gonna loosen this up. And it's okay if that moves. All right? It's okay if that moved because you loosened it up and tension came off of the belt. Now with this step is in the car, let's just take this cover off. The cover's out the way. Now with this point, how you can get this belt off is very simple. Take your tensioner, push it all the way to the right. That's gonna take tension off the belt. And this belt is going to come right off. Your belt is out the way. Here's another very important thing right here. Come on in here, Tyler. 
this belt slides up under this boss right here. So when you're installing this belt, be very careful not to go up and under the boss. And it comes right out. Like that, kid? I know you do. So we have our belt off. Now, very simply, let's take our tensioner off. And we can put this to the side. Hey, Ken, bring me a 12 socket, a 12 3 8 socket. This here, we take our center bolt out. Next step, let's get our water pump off. These are 10 millimeter sockets on our water pump. All right. Again, if you're in the car, you can reach these from the top with a with a quarter inch, 10 millimeter short socket with maybe a one inch extension. You can come down on it and you can zip these right off, these top ones. The ones on the bottom, you can get these from the bottom, come up from the bottom and just put a socket, quarter inch extension, and these will come right off. I have about seven of these. Oh, three A's. Yes. Yes. Uh, short or long is fine. All right. So. Now the only thing we're going to do. Oh, man. We're going to make a little bit of a mess. Yeah, that's good. I got us something. Now, again, you just, there's a little dowel pin up top. And there she goes, she comes right off. Now here's the most important part of this job. Step back for a second. This here is a gasket, right? I don't want you to be confused with, come on over here. I don't want you to be confused that you still have pieces of the gasket on here. You do not, that's just discoloration from the paper gasket. You do not have to worry about that. You can get some brake clean, you can spray some brake clean on here and you can kind of clean this up. That's basically what we're going to do at this point. So in order to get this video moving kind of fast, what I did is that we actually already glued our paper gasket onto the water pump. What we simply use is that we use just spray adhesive. Anything that you want to use, you can just use spray adhesive, all right? We already glued it to the water pump. So now, <clears throat> one second. I guess I should have had some brake clean ready to go on this one. Alright. You still got good light, Tom? Cut the light one off. Oh, I don't know. I guess it cut off. Okay. You still got good light? Yeah. Okay. So, now at this point, Again, <clears throat> you have a dial pin here. You have a dial pin right here on the engine, and that dial pin goes right here in the water pump. Simply, and in the car, it is just as easy. Find the hole and put them on. It slides in just that easy. You don't need no extra silicone. You don't need nothing. Now let's put this belt on. I mean. Let's put this pump on. Now I know everybody's saying, why are, you, why are you using the gun putting on? Because I've been doing this this many years. I know how tight to tighten something up. If you don't like the tightening, the torque procedure, I'm not gonna get out no torque wrench. This is what you do. That's it, we're in. Next, let's get our tensioner off. I'm sorry, our, uh, idler pulley. Two 12s, out the way. Again, same thing, come from the bottom, two 12s, you get this going. Let's put our new one on. We're almost there, folks, be patient. Two bolts for your idler pulley. 
12 millimeter. Get our 12, hold her flush. And she's in. All right, the only thing we have left at this point is to install our tensioner and our belt. So we're gonna get our tensioner. Now this is the important part. You can kind of mess this up. You don't want this over on this side of it. You gotta put your towel in and come around. You want this directly in the middle. See, I got that window and it stays there. You can't have it to the left because you can actually put it in that way to be all. You want it right in the middle. So basically get your, uh, get your 12. I mean, it's a 10, no, it's a 12. Now with this, right, you do not want this tight at this point. I'm just gonna slowly, oops, back it off a little bit. I want this loose, just like that. All right, right there. Now here's the most important part. Let's get this belt on. Now this timing belt, let me show you. This timing belt, all right, this is the Gates belt. It really doesn't matter which way you put it on. It does not affect the performance of the car. You can put it on this way. If you happen to put it on and it's backwards with the letters facing that way, it does not matter. So if you put this belt on, oh my God, it's backwards. No, the only way it's going to be backwards is not going to work if you do it like that. You'll never get it to mount. All right, but just to make things look pretty, I like to put mine on this way. So come on up under here. Like I was showing you before, right? There's a boss, this lip, you have to get, this part of the oil pump. You have to get this up under there like so. See that, you're up under there. All right, now follow me. Come on over this side, Tom, come to the left. Now here's the most important part of the job. I know you're ready. You have your belt on, it's up. Make sure it's tight. And again, you can reach this in the car. Come up, Tyler. If you're in the car and you're working down, you can hold up on this belt. Next thing you wanna do, keep tension on it. You wanna put this side on this pulley first and keep it tight. Wanna come around here and put it on your water pump. All right? Now, and this is the most important part. I want you to put your belt here, but I don't want it to touch the timing gear. You got this, Tyler? I want you to pull tight on this. Keep all the slack off this belt. This should be tight. That should go right on where you was at. Oop, and just move it. All right? Sometimes we have to move it just slightly, but you're okay. We're going to check our timing marks. Now, since that's tight, we're going to put this like so. And again, if you're in the engine, all you're doing, if this engine is in the car, you're going to reach your hand down like so. You ready for this? Let's tell. Reach your hand down like so. Take this tensioner. When you push it this way, it's gonna take tension off the belt. Now come up to the top, Tyler. Come up here to the top. And your belt is on. Just like that. Now, how we verify our marks, because sometimes they do move, they move, just put it back. And sometimes they do. Let's come here. All right, so now how we do, how we tighten up our belt. You can buy this tool. This is a Five Allen, I believe. And this kind of goes in this hole right here. All right? Now again, you can get this tool or you can get a regular Allen and come from the bottom and tighten it up or get a longer one to come from the top. This works great, it has a little handle. So now, what we're gonna do at this point, look, come out here. We're gonna push this down like so and you're gonna see this start coming over in the window, all right? That means that's tight, right? So I just wanna kinda, I like to have mine a little bit, a little bit on the uh, tight side when I tighten it up. A little bit on the tight side. So as you start tightening, oops, puppy. You're good there. Now what we're gonna do to confirm our timing marks, we're gonna spin our engine around two times. So we're gonna bring this timer mark around two times, all right? So let's go. Damn, it's lighting. Sucks. All right, let's go. What you got, Tiff? Yeah, it's ready. That's one. That's one. 
That's one. What am I talking about on the phone? It's hot. All right, come on. That's two. See that right here? We lined up perfectly with the time of mine. Come up here. Boom, bam. Boom, bam. Here we go. We're dead on. And look, your time and mark. See how this is? Not time and mark, I'm sorry. The tensioner is, I like mine's a little bit towards the right on the tight side on the tight side, just a hair. Because as this engine spins, this belt will loosen up just slightly and it'll go kind of in the middle. You never want to have this to the loose side when you go. All right? Make sure everything's tight. And we are done. Okay, I want to thank you guys for sticking around for that video. I hope it was helpful. Also, I'm gonna do another, another video on what to do if you're doing your timing belt on a Volvo and your cam sprocket and a timing mark smooth. I'm gonna show you a very important move to make sure that your timing is right and that you do not have a check inch light once you reassemble this thing. Just check out the next video on it.